Hi, this is Grow at Build It, and I'm going to tell you about uh, tick tubes in this video, what they are, how they work, and how to make them. Um, and so we're all here about ticks. This is a picture of the smallest tick I've ever pulled off myself. Uh, this was a nymph I pulled off last summer. Um, and so really let's talk about what is a tick tube. It's simply a cardboard tube that we're going to put some cotton balls or dry lint in that we've treated with a tick pesticide that will kill ticks on contact. Now, how are we going to get that onto the tick? Well, we're going to use mice. Mice like to line their nests with dry lint, cotton balls, and warm, cuddly stuff. And they are going to find those tick tubes. They're going to pull the lint out and put them in their nests. Night, um, mice are the they're really big carriers of ticks. So as they go about their business, they're going to pick up ticks. They're going to go home to their nest, and the ticks will die on contact with the pesticide, either from the mice's fur directly or the permethrin. You need cardboard tubes. You need cotton balls and dryer lint. You need permethrin, you need a tray or something to hold the stuff while you apply it, and some protective rubber gloves. So the first step is to lay out your dry lint and cotton in the tray, and uh, you know make it so that when you spray it, it'll uh, apply everywhere. Put on your rubber gloves, and then uh, that's my permethrin. I paid $15 from Amazon on it. I'll put a link below. You can see if it's still on sale. But then spray thoroughly all over the uh, cotton balls and dry lint. You really want to get them heavy and wet. Then flip them over and spray them again so you try to get the whole, you know, all the surface area, every part of it covered. Alternatively, and probably easier, is just to pour some of the permethrin or spray it into a bowl. And then just take your cotton or dryer lint and sop up what's in there. Uh, you can just toss the paper bowl when you're done. But again, you're going to want to let this stuff dry for 24 hours. Uh, you know, because once it's totally dry, it should be safe to touch. Um, but then the next step is to just pack the tick tubes. So you're just going to pick up some lint or cotton balls and put them in the tubes. You don't have to pack them tight. You just need it in there enough so that it won't blow away on its own. Once you've packed all your tick tubes, we've got to figure out where to put them. This is my backyard. That's the area I'm concerned about, the tree line. That's where I picked up most of my ticks. So I'm going to go back there. I'm going to place tick tubes where I think mice live. Wood piles, brush piles, dense, dense vegetation is good. Um, so here I'm just going to wedge it in there so the wind can't take it away. Uh, but the mice can still get at it quite easily. And that's really what you want to do is you don't have to worry about the rain, um, you know, hurting anything. The permethrin does not dissolve in the water. So it's going to stay on the cotton, you know, no matter if it gets wet. Um, but just find areas of dense vegetation and place it where it'll be secure, where the wind shouldn't, you know, or a storm shouldn't take it away. Um, now, how many tick tubes you need? Well, that's how much area you have to cover. Um, I put them about every 10 to 30 feet, depending on, you know, where the dense vegetation is. Um, you know, so that's 3 to 10 meters. Um, but basically, you're just going to go around and, until you've used all your tick tubes and you can go back and check them after a week or so. Some of the cotton should be missing or completely empty. If it's not, then just move it somewhere else. But uh, the stuff, once it's dry, it doesn't hurt mammals though. It doesn't hurt mice, dogs, cats. Once it's dry, uh, it just kills bugs. So it's a passive way to fight ticks in your yard. So go to growabuilder.com for a detailed article. And thank you very much, everyone. Have a good day.